Hi, so uh, let's get started with what we're trying to build here and uh, uh, the very first thing is like why the reason I have like still my drawing screen up and not my coding screen is even before we start to code it's important that you know we have the clear picture in our mind uh, what exactly uh, it is that uh, you know we are uh, trying to build here okay so uh, what uh, we are trying to build here is uh, just a second um, we, we want to build is a car picker okay and uh, how we'll do is uh, it's kind of like um, I don't know if uh, you guys might have had these kind of uh, competitions in your school or something where in hardware competitions where you are given a certain budget that you have say one lakh rupees and you have to build a laptop or a computer and you have to build one for gaming you have to build one for business use and like you pick up the different part so something similar with cars so what we'll have here it will be basically a you know a command line app so say you know uh, there would be some uh, cli kind of a thing where you know uh, there would be a prompt and uh, we, it will be like one 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 step by step you have to pick things so initially let's say you are you know uh, given say a certain amount of uh, money here okay so say you are given uh, rupees uh, you know uh, say uh, just a second. yeah so uh, say you are given uh, rupees uh, say six seven lakh to you know uh, work with and you have to pick uh, certain parts of the car and maybe uh, somebody says that you know you have to build a car for uh, going uh, off road okay uh, somebody says you have to build a car for you know city travel or uh, you have to build a car for you know uh, taking out your family so different kinds of needs you have and correspondingly you might be spending that amount of money in different things like uh, say if you want to make a big family car then the chases and the number of seats will be more if you don't need a very high powered engine or something like that okay now, uh, when we make such a car like that, uh, what are the components that we need, right? So it's very important that we keep our, you know, uh, car parts uh, very important that we, you know, uh, jot them down. So uh, uh, talking of car parts, I think uh, we would need uh, a wheelbase. So wheelbase, of course, is like, you know, uh, it is like the bottom of the car on top of which, uh, like, you know, the chassis of the car is uh, made so generally like you have a wheelbase it will contain all the wheels and then on top of that you basically uh, create the top of the car okay and that's how uh, you basically build the car and all right so uh, you need a uh, wheelbase and uh, you need uh, so based on this wheelbase like if it's a big wheelbase or it's a small wheelbase uh, so based on that wheelbase uh, a lot of things will uh, depend on it so like the chases of the car so now uh, the chases is where you define what kind of a chases do you want do you want a hatchback chases do you want a sedan chases do you want a uh, you know uh, suv kind of a chases which has a uh, you know place for storing things in the back okay so what kind of chases depends on the wheelbase so like if it's a big chassis uh, big wheelbase then uh, a hatchback chassis might not be available for it okay uh, if it's a uh, you know, uh, if it's a small wheelbase, uh, then maybe SUV chassis are not available for it or maybe, uh, you know, uh, truck uh, chassis are not available for it. So, you have to pick a wheelbase and then you have to pick a chassis correspondingly, okay. Maybe uh, medium size, maybe sedans are available, hatchbacks are also available and so on, okay. Uh, and what wheelbase you're choosing so that also uh, is going to be defining your choice for the wheels and the number of wheels also. So like it might be that a very small chassis, like most chassis will have like four wheels. Some very big chassis might have a uh, wheelbase, might have six wheels. Uh, like you might have seen the, you know, uh, Mercedes, uh, G-Wagon cars and all. So they have some six wheels. So you, know, you might have like, you know, number of wheels that you might need for that. Okay. Um, so that's, that's, that's like the wheelbase you need. You need chassis, you need wheels. Uh, the wheels that you need uh, that will dictate the kind of tires that you will need okay so like the wheels would have like certain inch size and the certain depth and based on the size of wheels you have to pick up correct tires okay so that's like the wheelbase chassis wheels tires that part the structural part uh, you need an engine of course uh, right 
so uh, now this engine could be a, you know diesel or a petrol engine or it could be an electric engine or it could be a hybrid engine so based on what kind of engine you take you might need a fuel tank okay uh, also based on the kind of engine that you have taken you might need batteries right so both of these are like uh, you might have a fuel tank no battery have the battery no fuel tank you might have both because it's a you know a hybrid car it will also define like the kind of transmission that you need so this transmission uh, can be you know automatic or manual or it can inside manual and automatic then it can be two into two or four into four uh, right or four into two so different kinds of uh, all-wheel drive rear wheel drive uh, you'd have different kinds of transmission and uh, it depends also like the number of tires that you have okay so uh, it's not completely uh, disconnected to that so that's like your engine side of things you need a wheelbase chassis wheels tires okay um, your car you need seats as well uh, right uh, so the seats part uh, again uh, like um, depends on the kind of wheelbase that you have taken for your car right uh, so so you need seats this would depend on the type of wheelbase that you have uh, these seats would need upholstery upholstery means like whether your seat is a leather seat or a, you know um, a rexine seat or cloth seat uh, that kind of stuff so uh, you need uh, the kind of upholstery that will put on the seats uh, the number of seats depends on like the wheelbase so like a small wheelbase might have five seats medium wheelbase might have you know uh, six seats and then like large uh, wheelbase uh, cars might have like eight or nine seats something like that okay uh, so so that's uh, like the wheelbase and the upholstery so that's uh, another part of uh, like the car that you're going to be making um, uh, yeah, I think that's that's roughly it. Uh, you'd uh, need uh, all of these uh, components when you're uh, making a you know a car, and uh, maybe like you can uh, take like the internal system inside your uh, car as well. Like you know whether you'd have uh, speakers, uh, your audio system, whether you'd have you know uh, power windows and all of that uh, stuff. So you can uh, consider uh, that 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 stuff as well. Uh, when you're making a car but i think those are like i'm not getting into those things which are not essential to drive a car so you need a wheelbase and engine seats and chassis wheels tires fuel tank battery transmission and so on now if we try to you know uh, break it down in a way uh, like uh, the kind of types of things that we would need so you know uh, what will happen is like uh, you know engines uh, would have like you know say first of all an engine would have type okay so there would be say you know uh, diesel engines uh, and then there would be say electric engines and then there would be say hybrid engines okay so that's basically the type of the engine in the first place okay apart from being like what type of engine that you need an engine would have certain uh, you know uh, uh, torque it would have certain uh, horsepower uh, okay it would have a certain um, uh, rpm of the engine as well so like uh, you know the uh, the torque and the rpm like you can have a relationship with which you can define the horror power that uh, so it's uh, uh, the bhp would be kind of proportional to the rpm and the uh, torque as well right uh, so these are some properties that your engine would have but if it's like a you know uh, diesel engine then uh, you would have like some uh, capacity like displacement so displacement would be something you know you measure in cc but if it's an electric engine you would probably have like you know uh, wattage like how what's the wattage of the engine like how many watts of energy that it produces okay so you might have th these kind of different types so you'll have to uh, incorporate all of these things in the engine maybe class that we create we create an engine class and we'll have to incorporate all of these uh, things that we need in them so uh, we'll have to do the same thing with like chassis and wheels and tires so let's uh, now get down to the coding part and see how do we create these classes 
and how do we create our you know vehicle picker and uh, then we will see as more and more features and you know complexities uh, come into the picture then uh, what all uh, you know uh, things that we need to add into it okay uh, makes sense so let's let's get started with actually coding this thing out <clears throat> 